hey what's going on everyone in this video we are going to see how to derive the transfer function from the given block diagram here we have a block diagram given and that's actually we have a r of s signal inside and also we have g of n of s l of s three of them going toward this adder and then we have g of s and the final of this y of s and then we have a feedback that is h of s okay now whenever we have a system like this and we want to do that we are going to go in the long way like uh, we are going to derive the equation and then we are going to find the final answer now in order to do that first we have to first we start if we start from the error it's going to be easy so i put the error right here e of s the equation for error for this system can be derived as here i'm gonna write it again e of s and for this system we can derive this one as r of s here r of s and then minus minus h of s times y of s h of s times y of s y of s i don't need this bracket over here okay now this is our error equation now the next things we are we are going to do is we are going to derive an equation for the output that actually easy when you look at when you trying to derive, derive for the output equation you have to just look at the straight line here since we are having adder here let's not touch this one first because these two are going to add up and keep coming here when we have a straight line we multiply everything but when we have adder we have to add that thing so let's put this one first g2 of s and then here we have l of s and g of s coming in this one in this adder but g of s is already coming through r of s actually e of s this through this error since e of s and g1 of s are in straight line we can just multiply them so i'm going to put l of s plus and then we have g1 and e of s so we are going to multiply these two g1 of s times e of s and that's the equation for the output now what we can do is we can just uh, substitute this e of s but before we do that we can just multiply this g2 of s with everything and if we do that we are going to get g2 of s times l of s lfs plus g2fs times g1 of s times e of s the next thing is we are going to substitute e of s with this one so g2 of s times lfs remains the same and then g2 of s times g1 of s and instead of e e of s i put this r of s times h of s y of s r of s times actually minus h of s y of s okay now we have a derived an equation um, with uh, applying this e of s now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to make it very simple so the thing we are trying to do is we are going to trying to bring this y of s all together to this side so in that way we can we can just take the y of s out and then we bring the other things to inside now to do that to do that i'm going to first we have to multiply all these things so g2 of s and then times l of s plus g2 of s g1 of s times r of s g2 of s g1 of s times r of s and then we have to multiply with this one again so g2 of s g1 of s h of s after that r of s 
h of s y of s sorry y of s okay now we have done one of the thing and then uh, we can we can see if i bring this equation to this side i can take the y of s command let's do that so i'm going to bring this equation so i'm i'm going to just straight away go go ahead and take this command so if i take y of s command this y of s already here is going to be just one and when we bring this minus to this side this is going to be plus so plus and then uh, y of s when since we took y of s command this y of s is going to be eliminated we can just it's just one so we don't have to worry about it and we put the other terms that is g 2 of s g 1 of s and then h of s okay now we have simplified this one in terms of y of s we took y of s outside now we have these only these things in the bracket and other side until this point is going to remain the same that is g2 of s l of s and then plus g2 of s g1 of s r of s now what we are going to do is we we are going to just keep the y of s and bring all the other terms to the other side so if you do that let's use some let's see how does it look like green color okay y of s i'm just keeping y of s this side there's no relation between this picture and this okay don't worry about like i'm just taking this y of s outside and bring this one plus g2 of s g1 of s h of s to the other side so g2 of s l of s and i'm going to put the whole thing in the denominator one plus g2 of s g1 of s h of s okay now uh, this one also remains also so plus since i don't have enough space i'm going to put the plus here and then continue the second one that is basically g2 of s g1 of s r of s in the numerator and in the denominator we are going to have the whole thing that is 1 plus g2 of s g1 of s h of s and that's our final answer i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching see you guys on my next video